Marie, well, we are on the uh, other side of where Jatera was. We uh, are at the corner of Madison and Millsbury. I want to, as you look down the street, I want to bring on someone who lives in this area. His name is uh, Kip Rowe. And, and I said you can learn a lot based on the number of police officers around. And so tell me what you heard and saw initially. Well, I was just sitting in my house, and uh, normally there are sirens that go up and down Madison. They just keep on going, and this time they didn't. They stopped. Uh, and just as they stopped, I got an alert on my phone that there was activity in the neighborhood, so I figured I'd better come and check it out. Yeah, and, and so at this point, we're still trying to determine if there were any injuries. Police have not uh, prevented you from going. You're outside of the area. Agree? Not at all. No, they haven't stopped me. I've passed a couple of officers, and they were on, on their way somewhere else. So. Okay. All right, Kip, thank you very much. I just wanted you to add your perspective. Again, what we have, what I can tell you is that uh, police are swarming uh, this area. And so if you do not have to come to this area of uh, uh, Hyde Park, don't, because many streets are blocked off. Uh, police, uh, a heavy presence of police in the area. We're still trying to determine, as uh, Jatera mentioned, whether or not anyone has been injured. We have no confirmation that uh, anyone has been injured. Of course, we, we were told the shots were fired, but at this point, we don't know uh, the status of that shooter. Uh, and hopefully no police officers were injured in this. Of course, we're going to be at this location, Jatera, as I said, on the backside of this, uh, not far from us. And, of course, we'll keep you updated. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.